Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to draw another mermaid and she's going to be a little bit different this time. I'm going to make her with really pretty like crimpy hair and maybe we'll add some cool details. So first I'm going to start off with her face. I'm going to draw a curve like this. You guys see that? Simple curve, right? I'm going to make one side come up a little bit higher. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to start making her hair. Just like with the other mermaid we made, I'm going to do a little bit wavy hair. Just a bunch of kind of curlies, kind of squiggly lines. I'm going to go this way and I'm going to make squiggly lines. Okay, now I'm going to make the top of her head. She's got this really pretty crimpy hair. And we're just going to make some more squiggly lines inside of it. And as you're making this, we're trying to make the head look kind of rounded. Do you know what I'm saying? So I know the squiggly lines aren't round, but you're kind of trying to make it stay in that shape. So I'm going to draw her ears too. Those are just little, actually one ear is just showing, so I'll just draw one. Okay. So there we go. So now I'm going to draw the rest of her body. I'm going to draw her neck just like that. We'll give her a pretty seashell necklace, so we'll draw a bunch of little circles. And let's, why not, we'll make a little starfish here at the end. Cute. Okay, now I'm going to draw one curve for her shoulder, one curve for her other shoulder. We're going to give her her seashell top, so we're going to make one oval and another oval. And we're going to do two lines almost looks like a V. Do you guys see that? How it looks like a V in there? Okay, we're going to make her arm coming down straight. Now we're going to make her tail. So I'm going to make her stomach first just a curve that way and a curve that way. Okay, now we're going to make a V just like in the other mermaid and we're going to make another V underneath. Okay, we're going to curve and make them connect just like that guys. So we'll make her tail going this way. So for the tail, I'm going to just make a very small kind of curve going this way because she's swimming sideways, kind of. And this part, we're going to make a little bit more rounded, okay? Just like that and make it kind of come together. It kind of looks like a big sideways teardrop. It's kind of hard to explain. That's the best I can do. <laughs> so we'll make these two connect like that. We're going to add our football tail just looks like a football. Perfect guys. Looking like a mermaid. I'm excited. Now we're going to draw our lines on our tail. The same thing we did on the seashell top. Got it? Okay. Now we're going to draw our scales on our fins. I'm sorry, on the tail. So we're going to make just little W's. I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to make one loop on the bottom to make it look like it scales. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to add some more hair since we've got a lot of our character drawn. And I'm going to add some earrings. So for the earrings, I'm just going to do a simple circle with an oval underneath. You guys see that? Just a circle and an oval. Super simple. And this mermaid's really coming together, I think. Okay, let's draw the arms now. We're just going to draw an angle line like that and an angle line that way. I'm going to draw another line like that from the seashell top. Another line like that. Of our hands, it's just going to be a curve, a rainbow line. A little loop, just like we did on the tail, on, a, on this fin. And then a big loop. A little loop and a big loop. Cute. Now we'll draw two lines for the fingers. I know we have more than four fingers, but that's how you draw character hands. It's a little bit easier. Okay, so we got our hair. If you guys want to add more hair at this time, I'm going to add a little bit more hair. I like her to have lots of flowing hair in the water. Looks like she's coming together, guys. Now let's draw the face. It's just going to be two circles. Very simple face. And we're going to give her two circles inside the there. I'm going to draw, um, make a line on the top part, 
kind of looks like a half of a circle, and then we're going to fill in the middle part. And she, we're going to make this mermaid. I think we should make this one a, a princess. What do you guys think? I think it'd be cool as a princess. So let's make it a princess tiara. So I'm going to do a line like this. I know it cut into the hair. We'll fix that in a minute. I'm going to make another line on top connected to the two lines. And then I'm going to pull. I'm going to make two angled lines just like we did on the V down here. And then I'm going to make a W, kind of a really low W shape. You guys see how that looks like a tiara? Okay, let's add our circle in the middle and another circle around it. Perfect. I'm gonna add a little heart on this side and a heart on this side. I'm gonna add one circle on each point. It's looking like a princess. I'm gonna add a simple nose, which is just a curve, very small curve. And then I'm gonna add a smile. I'm gonna add the eyelashes. I'm gonna add four curves. And because the hair is covering up one eyebrow, I'm just gonna draw one eyebrow. Cute. Guys, that's pretty much it. There's our beautiful enchanted mermaid queen. So now I'm gonna color it and see. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. That's our mermaid today. And if you guys think of a good name for her, let me know. I'm trying to think of a queen's name, but I know you guys have some good ideas up there. So let me know below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and remember to have fun guys. Stay creative. See you next time.